Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. Why don't we have a look into the Bitcoin chart? Because Bitcoin is still going sideways, my friends, and it looks like that we don't have uh, any kind of positive news from the traditional markets so far that could eventually bring Bitcoin again towards the $29,000 resistance that we still have here. So we are still at the neckline here of potentially breaking lower towards $26,000. We are right at the neckline of this potential head and shoulders pattern. And of course, our main support that we're getting here in the daily time frame. So far, we had many any touch points here of support let's see if it's going to hold again or not at least for now we don't get any kind of positive uh, feedback from the traditional markets as you can see also nasdaq right now is uh, coming back down towards the nine daily moving average so today a little uh, red day but still nothing to worry too much at least for now based on nasdaq because here although we are still perfectly above our support and of course still perfectly on track with this uptrend but of course once uh, or whenever nasdaq is coming a bit down this of course is bringing pressure to the crypto market as well and also if we have a look into the us dollar index you can see that right now we are testing again our resistance also here we are right at the neckline if we would break out here to the upside and have daily closes to the upside and of course also confirm then our new support which we started to do here but then it failed then of course we could be in here for a reaction rally for the us dollar index uh, to retest this area up here and afterwards maybe come lower that is possible that's why the US dollar index right now is uh, fighting with this resistance. If it's going to break, then of course uh, this could bring even more pressure for the crypto market and stock market. And that of course could lead eventually here into a fall down towards $26,000 and in the daily time frame for the worst case, even down towards the $22,000 area where we have the 200 daily moving average lining up. So Bitcoin is still in this uh, decision point if we should have here a big bounce to the upside and continue to up the uptrend or if we are in here for a major pullback. And remember, if you want to trade this volatility, do it over on Bybit. Here I'm trading since years already. You can sign up with the link in the video description to get up to $30,000 in bonus. And of course, if you're not trading, you can also just deposit some cryptos here and get nice passive income thanks to the staking feature. So that's it already for this video, my friends. There is nothing new or nothing bullish that came up with the opening of the US market, at least for now. Let's wait and see what will happen we are right at the decision point so it doesn't matter if you want to go long or short the next trading opportunity is waiting around the corner so thank you very much for watching don't forget to leave a like subscribe to this channel i update you every time something is going on in the crypto market thank you very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye for now